Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Brickazar. In this video, we're going to do another behind the scenes of the Bricklink store. We're going to be picking an order for Lego Maniac. And then I'm going to I talk about something because I already filmed that part. Now I'm doing this part, which is the intro. Anyway, <laughs> time travel. Uh, I'm talk, talk about something I talked about while I was picking it, and it relates to this. So let's uh, show you the Pablo that's picking a Bricklink Lego order in my Bricklink store. All righty, let's see how this order goes. Hope everything's here. It's one, it's 32 lots, one in a lot, clearing out the lot. So that always worries me. <laughs> well, it doesn't worry me in the sense that, I, I mean, I'm glad to empty out drawers, but sometimes I'm like, oh, I hope I didn't make a mistake previously in a previous order and a piece not be there, which actually just happened. I picked an order. There was supposed to be one piece left in the drawer. The drawer was filled up with other pieces. I guess it's one of those I forgot to clear out. And there's a clear panel there. And yeah, so I, I had to do something, which I'll show you here in a minute. But this is from a viewer. It's from a Lego Maniac. And he was helping me out, I guess. <laughs> Clearing out a bunch of drawers, and I've been working hard to try to add pieces. So what I'm doing here is, normally I would have the little cups, <clears throat> and I would put the pieces. But since I knew every lot on here would be empty in the drawer, I'm just going to use the drawers. And some of these won't be in drawer. Oh, wow, I needed a big drawer the other day. I didn't realize I had a... Sometimes I'll move parts out of bigger drawers into smaller drawers when I need a big drawer. But that, uh, that drawer used to be full of those bricks. Now it's completely gone all right let's go to the next one is 3385 which is on the other side we'll go around the corner trays are sliding out 3385 one of those panels we got 3772 down here oh, so far we're we're good so far there's only one of these lots that he ordered that he didn't get the whole thing. And I'll show you that in a minute. One of those bricks. Now we got 3925. 3925 is this one. We gotta check these things off here. Just in case I skip one. 4168. So there's 32 lots. When I get done, I should have 32 drawers or parts total. All right, let's see here. 5019 is on this side. A dome. It's like a droid dome. We got 8220. Turquoise brick. We got... 8273. A gear. Another panel. That's interesting. So there's that panel. And then this one in 8549. Now this is huh. That's interesting. Why are these in two Oh, this one's this one's not solid. This one. No, this one's there must be a thickness difference. Well, how did these end up in two different lots? Oh, one's used. Dun, dun, dun. That's how. Because <laughs> I don't know, no, never, I never have the same item in two different lots unless it's a condition issue. So that's what that is. It's one's used, one's not. I don't even know which one. <laughs> I have to use one. Sometimes, sometimes used lots or used parts are just as good as the new ones. Sometimes they're worse. 8677. These are the ones that are hard to see here. Which 77 is this one? Oh, ooh. got a brick there. Actually, it's a groove piece. 9247. Beep. Uh oh, forgot to close those drawers. 9247. Beep, beep, beep. Backing up. Backing up. Backing up. 9247. Plate. A5. So A5 is the one he didn't clear out the lots. And I have several people do this. And really, all you got to do is ask. 
You don't have you don't have to buy the brake. But he bought a brake and wants it signed. So let me do that real quick. So I signed it. Briggs are on that side. Yeah, but on that. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Put it in there. Put that back. All right, let's go. We're almost done. Now we get to the hard part. <laughs> These. Uh, can't do this with one hand. So these I'll put, I'll just throw in with other parts over here. We got P2. Oh. Get there. Q5, which is here. Where is Q5? There it is. Was I filming? So when I when I put these back, they're not necessarily in order. I've been limiting these to nine, so um, it's because it's if it got more, it would be harder to do this. So I usually just put them back in any order. But you know, when when I set them up, like when I go through and make sure all of them have something in them, I'll put them in order. But when we're picking orders, I don't worry about it. R112. We're getting close. Uh oh. Uh oh, it's this one. That's R8. Is 25. Another gear. These, oh, I gotta find a home for those tea, tea containers. And there's the trays. These are a little more tricky. I try not to put similar parts in the trays because they're they're not labeled. So you got 19 different parts that can go in here, and so yeah, I try to always make them different. Uh, we got one more tray, I think. Here, oh no, one more item in there. I gotta get that. This here, and then tray three, it's a big part. <laughs> tray four, oh, another big part. Um, where are we at? Oh, last one, tray six. That is a very Unusual thing to find in my store. Somebody picked an order yesterday that had this color. This is old dark gray. Don't normally sell these. <laughs> um, there are some older lots from things I parted out a long time ago that still has some dark gray uh, in them. So that is the whole order from Lego Maniac. All right, Lego Maniac, which one is the used one? I'll give you a hint. It's that one. <laughs> See if you can tell <laughs> when you get it. I pack the panels kind of separately because sometimes those things can get all scratched up. But that's the order. I was picking an order for somebody else, and it was not similar to this. But the one thing that was similar is that they bought the last item in a drawer. When I opened the drawer, it was filled with these other parts, and I was like, did I type, you know, so then I go through all the things. Did I type the number wrong? Which still may be a possibility. Uh, sometimes when you're entering the, the remarks where the location is, uh, sometimes you, you we do typos. And my wife has gotten very good at finding my typos. So they do happen. And that may be the case. I may have to, uh, later when I do an audit of my store, I may find it. Uh, I don't have enough full drawers right now to do an audit, especially since I just picked that order. <laughs> But, uh, so, I couldn't find the part, and so I looked to see what part, or what sets had that part. And there were qu quite a few. It wasn't a rare part, it wasn't an expensive part, uh, but the easiest one to find that had the part is this one. So what I, what I normally do when I'm messing a part is I'll search by 
year released down. So I'll start with modern sets. I've even actually sometimes, well, that's actually what I did in this one. I've gone to the store and bought the set <laughs> to get the part. And that's what we're doing in this video. So this is the set uh, that had the part, just one part. It's a little grill. I think it goes on the front of the car. And I don't, I looked and looked. I was, now this is from my personal collection and it was in bag two. So I, I was like, okay. So what I did is I went to Walmart or went online. I think you can clearly tell this is a Walmart box with the, the Walmart branding on it. And since I stole one from my personal one, I was like, okay, now I need to replace the part. And I bought three of them. Three of them is the, the limit that you can buy. And I'm like, okay, if I'm going to be parting this, I guess I'm parting this set out now. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, and it's not the great, it's not a great part. It's like a two to one part out. It's not, I usually look for three or four times the part out value. But I was like, it's dinosaurs. It's dinosaurs. Dinosaurs will sell eventually. So uh, it's got uh, Ian Malcolm in, in it. So yeah, uh, old Ian Malcolm. You know, I never even built this set. So what I want to do is part these out. And then, so I'll, I'll take everything, you know, you do the part out and just subtract one of the grills and put it over here in my personal copy. I might actually build this set. I don't know. So this is Jurassic World Dominion from that. I actually have not, I don't think I've built any of the recent, like the last two series of Jurassic World sets. I always collected these for the dinosaurs then it just kind of got out of hand here. But that, yeah, that's why I bought three more copies of the Pyroraptor and Dilophosaurus transport. Yes, so uh, that's what I do. Uh, I use making mistakes in my BrickLink store as an excuse to um, buy more Lego sets. So uh, I'll take these upstairs. I'll watch some uh, Perry Mason. We actually, I started watching a series I've never watched in my life. It's called NCIS. So we started back with the uh, the first season, I think it is. Very cheesy. Uh, very unrealistic, but it was entertaining enough. <laughs> I preferred uh, more real, realistic stuff, but it's all right. It's something to watch. I, I, I prefer Perry Mason to NCIS, but uh, that's not what you came here for. This is a uh, They Might Be Giants. Um, it says that on there. They Might Be Giants Instant Fan Club. I'm not supposed to talk about it, uh, but I just did. So uh, I'll be back tomorrow in a different shirt and doing something different down here probably.